Hey guys and welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk about the panniers that uh, I'm using on my motorcycle and uh, there's always big debates what panniers should I get. A lot of people have different choices and that's fine but uh, I went with Bumot and uh, probably that those panniers they have probably one of the better reputations. Uh, so the panniers that I'm using are Bumot Defenders and uh, the left hand side it's a 45 liter and the right hand side it's a 41 liter and the top case it's uh, also 41 liter capacity i have slightly modified them and i will show you uh, once i get the camera a bit closer um, to protect them from scratching on top and i also as you see installed the jerry cans on them so the reason why i went with those panniers uh, first of all uh, you can change them between uh, the hard cases and the Extremada, which are the version of the soft, soft panniers using the same rack system. And you got to have a Bumot rack system in order to be able to, to swap them on the fly. And uh, the, the installation process is very simple and to swap the boxes to swap the boxes is, uh, takes minutes basically so th they are very durable panniers um, i took a multiple falls and uh, i bring the camera closer like uh, they can withstand quite a bit actually i i laid the bike uh, even on the pavement so it did scratch quite a bit on the plastic it basically wore it out but uh, they are protected. Uh, they're sealing really well in uh, rain conditions. And uh, I was riding in heavy rain, never had any problems uh, with the water getting ins inside of them. And uh, the way they made them, it's a really quality product. So I'll bring the camera closer and I show you what I mean. And you can get a few different accessories for those. Um, you can get the liners and um, also the lid liners, which I have on my panniers. And uh, so yeah, they're, they're a great product and I really, really recommend them. If you read the reviews on them, um, a lot of people say only good things about them. And it's true, they are top quality product and the design is just amazing. Uh, another thing that one key takes care of everything from your soft bags to your uh, toolbox, which I also have Bumot toolbox. I have also one more product uh, from Bumot, which is the radiator gu guard on uh, Africa Twin. So the Bumot toolbox, it's, I find it it's a little bit too small, but I did manage to squeeze all my stuff inside. So it does work, uh, but I wish they made it a little bit longer so it fits across the frame. Uh, once I bring the camera closer, you'll see what I mean. So this way the, there will be more volume in that box because uh, as of now, I believe it's about uh, three liter only. So it's, it's uh, pretty small. Let me show you how are they built and how do they look inside. This way you, you'll have an idea if you are in a market for uh, panniers, whether it's a soft panniers or, uh, or the Bumot Defenders. There's a new version, the Defenders Evo, I believe. Uh, there's a few little changes on them, like this is a 2017 model that I purchased uh, at my local Honda um, dealer here in Calgary. All right, so here we go. So the nice design, um, the panniers are open to the outside of the bike on both sides and the hinges are kind of holding together. So even if you have stuff in there, you can put it pretty much in any position, which, uh, which is an excellent design. The weather stripping is mounted on a lid. It works really well. As you see, there's a little lip here. Uh, so it seals nicely all around and there's no chance of any water to get in here and uh, as you see here the liners that i was talking about that's uh, how it looks so you can fit a lot of uh, small stuff in here it's nice zipper and it's made out of a top quality fabric uh, i carry my stuff like my little stuff here so you can have your paperwork or whatever you need and it's made out of a Kodura fabric so that would be the same durable material as the Extremada side panniers so yeah there's few zippers few pockets on that and they fit really well in your lid you can just simply strap it with the 
soft straps that are provided with the liner. Uh, looking inside, so in this pannier I usually hold all my camping gear, which right now it's fully loaded. And it might be tough to get it out because there's a tent in there. Yep, I'm gonna have to take the tent out. So. All right, so now everything should pop up. All right, so here are the liner that comes inside so you can have all your gear nicely secure. And if you ever want to go to the hotel, you don't have to take even the whole panniers off. You can just take this uh, as a bag and uh, take it with you or even uh, into the tent. So excellent design and uh, I can fit pretty much everything uh, that I have uh, when I'm going on the road. I link the video right above uh, this section here so you can see what do I pack uh, when I go on a motorcycle adventure. So when you look inside the pannier, there is a, I hope you're gonna be able to see it on camera. There's like a weather stripping inside and the bottom uh, lid is made out of two pieces um, of aluminum because it wraps, it wraps inside there and uh, it creates like a dual layer on the bottom of those uh, panniers. So excellent design. I never had a problem with leaking or anything like that. They perform really, really well. And what I've done, like I mentioned before, putting the gear on the top of my panniers on the lid and using the straps, they were getting pretty scratched up. So what I did, I put a excess, I glued on a piece of exercising mat um, made out of rubber and it's a like pretty heavy duty rubber. And uh, now the problem is gone. So I used the uh, like uh, cement glue and glued that on here and uh, that solved the problem. I did the same thing on my top case as well. So the latching system here, it's uh, like I said, one key works for everything from all your locks uh, all around the panniers and also the locks that are holding the pannier onto the racks. So basically one key does it all and it's a nice, really nice solid latching system. So to take your panniers off, they made it really simple. Um, there's a lock uh, that uh, you can lock them onto the rack and to release them, you simply lift this up and pull the pannier aside. It's a pretty easy operation. It goes off just like that. So as I mentioned earlier, for durability. I'm gonna tilt it over so you can see the bottom of this a little bit more here. Sorry, it's a bit shaky. I'm doing it freehand. So there you go. This is the dual layer, what I was telling you on the bottom. And as you see this corner here, took a little bit of uh, beating on my falls uh, when I dropped the bike uh, on multiple occasions. So I'm gonna, gonna have to come up with something and patch it up, but uh, everything underneath is intact. and. That happened when I dropped uh, my bike on the pavement. Uh, anytime I dropped it on the gravel, I haven't seen no scratches pretty much on it. Um, very, very good product. So I was asked in the past, how did I mount those jury cans on here? Basically, those are the AliExpress or Amazon, uh, one of the cheapest uh, jerry cans, and they come with the bracket everything is uh, in there but what i did since the aluminum here just to protect it to make it stronger i've put an aluminum plate and i drilled it in the same pattern as the mounting um, bracket for those uh, jerry cans uh, you probably don't have to do it but myself i i would recommend it because that that aluminum is quite strong but uh, when you have bouncing uh, i figure when you have uh, when you're bouncing on the road and uh, liquid is uh, whether it's water or your fuel in a jerry can uh, there's uh, three liters of uh, fuel in there so it adds the weight and from the vibration i was afraid that i might bend it or anything so i added that extra plate for the extra strength which uh, which doesn't affect any construction of the pannier itself uh, you still like you're not losing any rooms because of that but uh, you have a peace of mind that it's uh, mounted on a strong surface so I will talk now just briefly about the toolbox and the toolbox also uses the same key to get in stuff and out and uh, it's got uh, just the weather stripping on the whole lid here and uh, the tools, uh, the tool roll fits nicely in there. I just wish, like I said, there was a little bit more room 
because uh, they could have made it all the way to the end of the rack instead of um, like a three quarters length that would make it probably perfect uh, toolbox at that point but overall i'm also pretty satisfied with it so the difference between the panniers uh, like i said the hard cases 45 and a 41 on the exhaust side and the 41 uh, difference is because uh, they both have that little groove uh, cave in uh, for your exhaust so you're losing the space right there and so this is the soft case but the hard case looks identical i will show you now the extremada panniers and how you how easy it is to put it on right now they're empty because all my stuff is in the hard cases still so basically just line up there's a little uh, there's a little plate here and then you got those two latches with the groove under in there that the, the piping goes through and line it up push it in and this lever right here just closes everything and pretty much you're done at this point yep there we go all right so let's talk now about the Extremada soft panniers. Excellent idea that they go both fit on the same rack system. I was thinking of going to Moscow Moto soft panniers, but there would be a big problem with the mounting system. They wouldn't really fit on my existing uh, racks as they would be involved uh, in uh, mounting some extra plates and screwing it on. So that's too much work. I decided to go with Bumot. So the Bumot soft uh, panniers, there's a little bit different capacity. Uh, it's uh, 35 liter and 31 liter on the exhaust side. Uh, but again, uh, if you look on the quality of this, it's uh, pretty amazing. Here is a nice reinforced uh, Kodura fabric, which is a very durable uh, fabric. Uh, they, they made a lot of the heavy duty stuff out of that stuff. So, and uh, there roll up so weather um, water resistant they're saying it uh, sh should be pretty much waterproof and i think that they are because as you see they are they're lined uh, with the layer of like a rubber or whatever that is it's uh, again like a pretty top quality product and what's nice about it uh, they include a they include a dry bag for all your stuff uh, when you are using those panniers so that gives you uh, additional protection uh, from the water when you are off-road so i'm pretty anxious to try them myself um, but i looked on a review one of the reviews and uh, that's uh, not much stuff on boomont online uh, to find uh, much of details um, how well they perform but uh, after reading uh, on forums and stuff um, they are really really quality product so as you see a uh, really well thought out product so with those you get a couple bottle holders so it could be like a bigger fuel bottle uh, one of those msr camping bottles or you get one in the front one in the back so i got actually a couple of those bottles i'm using one of them for my uh st cooking stove <laughs> as you see they're quite big um, you can lower them quite a bit here and uh, super easy closing system System, just roll it down and use your buckles to strap it on and pretty much you're done and uh, taking it off and on it's a very easy task as well it's a very good product so this is my complete set of panniers and uh, I hope this review is gonna help some of you of making that choice uh, what panniers to get uh, and I really really recommend uh, those panniers they make an uh, excellent travel companion and you won't regret uh, for poor quality definitely worth uh, to get this product and uh, like i said i purchased those at uh, rocky mountain power sports here in uh, calgary alberta and uh, i know atv motorrad in states also carries those uh, on a mail orders so you can uh, order those from those guys and probably those are the only guys that you can get it here in north america i'm not sure about europe but like i said all that stuff is made in uh, bulgaria so it's uh, i'm super like uh, I'm, uh, the quality is really really good so thank you for watching and uh, if you like that video make sure to hit that like button if you didn't like it hit the dislike button twice 
and make sure to subscribe to the channel this way you're gonna see future videos uh, whether they're related uh, to my travels or motorcycle repair or even scuba diving if you're into it so till next time and thanks for watching again cheers <laughs>